What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to cover the latest this week at Bungie for the 3rd of March 2018. So let's get into it. Now let's start off this weekly update talking about how New Monarchy have won for the third time in a row and Future War Cult just about scraped second place. And then they're going to talk about Iron Banner and it will be returning next week. It begins Tuesday, March 6th and ends Tuesday, March 13th. The game mode will be Clash. Lord Saladin will have three featured weapons available for you to obtain directly from him. Here are his offerings and you can see the Pulse Rifle, the Grenade Launcher and the Auto Rifle. If you weren't able to finish off the challenges required to unlock ornaments during the last event, your progress will carry over. So start punching everyone you see to earn that chest ornament. Changes are coming to Iron Banner and the Crucible and will give you more specifics very soon. The aforementioned future Crucible plans? Very soon, as in this section, the Crucible team has been working hard on a few updates to Guardians vs Guardians action that the team plans to deliver in update 1.1.4. We invited PvP design lead Derek Carroll to drop some knowledge on what they have in store for us. Quoting Derek right here, the PvP team has been on fire these past few weeks filling update 1.1.4 with as much awesomeness as we can. Our beloved test team is right there with us in the labs as we put the new content through its paces. Some highlights, Iron Banner will channel that old school crucible in the style of the Iron Lords. We've made a number of tweaks to the gameplay besides increasing team sizes to 6v6. Match time limit is 12 minutes, score limit is 125 points, respawn time is 7 seconds, all control zones start off as neutral. Control zones take slightly longer to capture by default. Additional guardians max of 3 in a zone increases capture speed. Guardians participating in a capture get more super energy. Rumble will make its triumphant return with no excuses, no complications and absolutely no points for assists. You get a single point when you get a kill, just like in the golden age of video games. Oh, and this time we increased the player count to 8, so that's pretty cool. Mayhem is still mayhem. These three modes will share a central location on the Crucible Director page and rotate weekly to keep things fresh. This weekly themed playlist will be home to game types that don't necessarily fit into the existing quick play or competitive playlists. The mode formerly known as Doubles is in its Chrysalis, making a slow transition from what you played during Crimson Days to become a beautiful butterfly. We loved the way it played in Crimson Days but felt like we could take it further and give it more polish and flexibility. Once we lock that down, we'll release it into the weekly featured rotating playlist with the other fun stuff. For now, we are unsure of a release date, but we'll add it to the roadmap when we are more certain of when it will land. There are of course other cool features coming in 1.1.4 that will make everyone's lives better unless they're habitual quitters and we'll be sure to talk more about them as the launch day approaches. So pretty cool to be honest, I said it from quite a while back, the 1.1.4 update in March in my opinion is the game changer. If we don't start seeing a turnaround in players coming back with this update, I'm not sure we ever will to be honest people. They go on to answer questions about Nightfall scoring, uh, so we'll go through that. Nightfall scoring went live on Tuesday, we're monitoring the initial feedback on the changes. There were some common questions being asked about modifiers and score tiers. We've asked a team working on these changes to clarify a few things. How do players acquire Nightfall Emblem variants? Caught in the dev team? Nightfall Emblem variants have a chance to drop from Nightfall completions, it's not related to challenges and it's not a guaranteed drop. For each variant the chance increases from 0% to as high as 50% at specific score thresholds per variant. Currently those thresholds are as follows, Tier 1 20k, Tier 2 40k, Tier 3 60k and Tier 4 80k. Why aren't those tiers available in game and will they ever change? Dev team. We're planning to adjust the score thresholds as we come to better understand what the community considers as an impressive high score. And we don't currently have a great way to display dynamic settings like that. Every week that a Nightfall returns, we may increase the aura threshold based on community high scores from the previous week that Nightfall was active. 
we do that based on some percentile of the community, potentially the top 10%. The current 60k threshold is based on internal playtests. We expect the community to do better than us, so it should be expected that threshold will increase the next time the tree of probabilities comes around. Why were base Nightfall modifiers removed? Quote the dev team again. The removal of the base modifiers from Nightfall is because we want to emphasize core combat in this initial release and let the community define the meta for high scoring Nightfall run. We can certainly revisit the modifiers in the future, they're not dead and buried, open to player feedback. Note, we are currently investigating an issue where Heroic Mercury Adventure modifiers are not appearing for some players. This was not intentional and we'll update you on the status of the issue when we have more information. We're planning on reporting the top 3 fire team high scores each week. Right now, Jason, Mercer and Lote are leading with a high score of 220,837. Think you can beat them before the reset? We'll post the top scores next Tuesday after the reset. And guys, that's basically about it. Um, they do want to talk about updates and bugs and so forth. And if you do want to read through all of them, you'll find it linked within the video description. So a few questions answered there about the Nightfall scoring. And also Iron Banner returns next week with three beautiful looking weapons for us to obtain. When I say three beautiful, I mean one, and that's the auto rifle, that looks quite good to me. It looks like the Scaife Lock or a reskin Scaife Lock, which I know it's a reskin, but at the end of the day, Scaife Lock's actually quite a decent weapon. Let's hope this one performs like it. And yes, like I said, Iron Banner returns next week, Tuesday 6th of March. But yes, guys, that is it for another Bungie Weekly Update video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy what you are seeing, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand